Good morning, everybody. Um, today I am going to bring you um, loads of stuff. Um, so first, um, sorry, I've been away for just a little bit, but we had a graduation and a 16th birthday and family in town, and it was just a crazy couple of weeks. Um, so and I've ha actually, the first thing I'm going to show you is some journals that I completed oh, almost a month ago, I think. Um, so here they are. Um, I used um, Shabby Dabby Doodah's, um, I think it's called Vintage Nautical. Um, so let me show you the first one here. It's just a tie closure here. Okay, so in this one, and you'll have to forgive me, some of these, like I said, it was done over a month ago, so I'm going to have to remember all the pockets and, and things in that one. Um, so I made a pocket out of the front flap of the book, and there's just a little bit of um, some of the paper that I cut down for lar larger journaling spaces. And then there's this page, and that was um, part of the ephemera kit. There's a pocket and some embossed tags. A little journaling card. This is a little pocket here with some more tiny embellishments here. This is one of the um, background pages that comes with the kit. And you'll notice on most of them I've taken um, some blue um, distress ink and went around the edges. There's another little pocket, and this is one that comes in. Um, actually, this is an index card that I just used some of my extra background paper to. Um, I covered one side and left the other side here. It's just a little tag here. Ledger paper. And I made a side tuck here and used one of the round pieces she has in the embellishment kits. The drilling card, the piece that comes with the ephemera kit, a tag, um, another little pocket with a little bit of bling on it, another piece of background page that I cut down to make another drilling spot there. Index card, and then this is a tag that comes with the kit. Um, this is another embellishment piece that comes. Just a little book here. This is the other side of that pocket. Index card with a little bit of uh, material on the side. A little bingo card that comes with the kit. And I made a little tiny pocket here. Little tiny pieces in through here. And these I did, um, this is part of the background pages, but I had printed it on regular copy paper. And then I just trimmed down the edges just to embellish the pages just a little bit. Some more pieces that come in the kits. Oh, and they are two signatures, and then I'll give you measurements of this one in just a second. So more little tags here, There's another piece out of the kit. This is one of the little stamps that come in the kit. I don't know if you can see that, it's going to focus on it. Okay, and then this again, um, this one is actually out of cardstock, not out of the uh, copy paper. But I used um, that and just created a pocket, just cut it out on the fussy cut around it, I guess is what you call it. No side tuck here. 
or the copy paper. Um, this also, again, was one of those, this is actually, is on one of the background pages, and then I just fussy cut around it and made it a cute little tuck. And again, I did the same thing here. Aren't these adorable? I think she calls these the collage pages, but I just, I love those. A little pocket here, with some more embellishments, Rolodex card. Um, and this is just a flip piece of cardstock to journal on. And then we come to the back cover. And again, I just took the background pages and cut them down just to make a little bit larger journaling cards to fit in there. So in this back cover, these are the covers. Um, these are um, hand, um, hand painted around there and then it's got um, this gold, I wanna say it's like a filigree, but I'm not sure, I think it was actually for like gold leafing. So and then this little guy measures About eight and a half by five and three quarters ish. Okay, so that's the first one. And the second one is this one. Um, oh, and I should tell you that one and actually this one were more left um, not fru fruit um, so that it could be versatile either for a guy or girl. Um, so we'll do this one first because the last one there is pretty, pretty girly in my opinion. Okay. So we have the front cover here. I don't know if you can tell all the hues on the corners. Okay. So we have kind of the same basic thing. And this is actually... I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but it's actually cut out. And I got this idea from um, Wendy's um, journal adventure. Um, only I think she used vellum. Background pages there. Most of these are pretty similar. Some have a little bit more through in them and other ones are not as much. But look at how pretty that is. Okay, and this one we have a belly band with a little... Rolodex card. And this one also does feature the ink around um, all the pages. And then again, we have the cute little bingo cards that come in the ephemera kit. And I'll list all of that stuff below on which kits I used. Um, again, I took the um, background border pages and I just cut them down and made a cute little tuck here. Again, same concept here. A little pocket, a little side tuck up here. A little belly band, and then I took um, some of the, um, since I had already cut off the sides, I just took and made these like into a little envelope. This kit in particular was a fun one to work with because there were so many different um, elements in the embellishment and the background kits. You could really, you could really have a long play with this kit. And this is one of the little embellishments. Okay, second signature. Um, we got more of the same, just different fabrics, index cards, embellishments journaling cards, a little tiny pocket, little, little stamps that come in the kit, and these also come in the kit. Uh, 
Um, then we have a little envelope, um, and I made that out of, I think it was a nine by six um, clasp envelope. So you have some pockets here, and then you have a big pocket here in the middle, and then a little side tuck here. And then we have another large pocket here. Um, this is another tag that comes in the kit. Okay. I don't know if we're, if we're, oh. oh, look at me. All right. So this is a little envelope that I made from one of the background pages. So you just pop it open here. And then you have um, writing spaces here. And then it just pops back in there. Oop, there you go. Another um, side or side tuck here, and this flips up. And then this is a little pocket. You can stick little stuff in there. I guess it's not really a pocket, is it? A little puck. Isn't that so cute? I just love how blue the blue is. I don't know if the camera picks it up, but it's a, a deep royal blue. Um, uh, yeah. Okay, and here's the other side of that envelope. Here's the other bingo card in there. Very cute. And we have a pocket in the middle and then we have a tuck in the back and then a tuck here in the front okay, and we can the last page it's just full of um, here's another tag I don't think I showed this one yet there's another little stamp out of that pick it up. Oh, there we go. Out of the kit. Okay, we'll come to the back cover for that one. All right, and here comes the more frou-frou one, and this one has a um, hitch post closure. So you can see I put this little design from the kit in there. And this one doesn't have the painting on it. Okay. All right, so the in, inside cover, I also used um, the top flap. I, I don't even know what they call those. It's like a jacket uh, page or something, like the first one you flip to. Okay, so we just have more pockets. More of those big journaling cards that I made with her background pages. And this piece. And I know you won't pick this up, but this is, it's like almost like a granite. It's got blue... Um, it looks white in the camera, but there's a little blue marbling in there. All right, another little tiny pocket up here. Like I said, this one's got a little more friff in it. Some more tags, flowers. amazing. I just love how cute those are. Oh, and here's another little tuck. Some more journaling cards that come with it. Pretty sure I'm saying it, that it's um, journaling cards, but I think how she has it listed is more of ephemera. So then a belly band here. And this is an index card. And this is part of one of the background pages. And a little top belly band. I'm actually, I don't even know who did this. I can't remember now since it's been over a month since I watched the video. So these are the little pieces that come in the ephemera kit. And I put them on the background page. And it's almost like a little bookmark holder, but kind of like a belly band. I'm not sure. 
Anyways, I thought it was a cute idea. So I used it. Just little tiny pieces in the kit. And you'll, oh, in this one too, you'll notice that there isn't any blue inking around the edges. This one in particular, the browns, like it's very, very vivid. You can kind of see that if the camera's picking it up or not. And we have an upper tuck. And then on one of the pages, background pages that had this really cool design so I thought I you know obviously I was getting lots and lots of stacks of um, middle papers oh yep there it is there we go so yeah it's on this page here this also I don't know if I mentioned before but it is one of the background pages in the kit side text I made with her background pages. I'm not sure if you're hearing it, but the phone's ringing. It never rings. And of course, it's ringing now. Alright, so more pockets here. tuck there and um yeah that's one of the background pages there and it looks like this little guy didn't get glued so we'll have to remember to do that because it was supposed to be glued right there so it's kind of like a pull right there And then I turned this one the other side of, I don't know if, it, if you'd call it a filigree, but I'm going to, for the purpose of the video, call it a filigree piece. Um, so I just, look at how pretty that is. And the, it really does look like a gold gilded frame. I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but it really does. There's very, like a lot of dimension in there. pocket here the tags and come to the back one box tag okay and so here's the back of this journal and all of these book measurements are the same so it'd be like eight and a half by seven or sorry five and three quarters ish okay so then yesterday um emily over at ephemera's M. Ephemeris Treasures challenged me to a scrap pack thing, which I will be doing, and I decided to go ahead and do a video on what I'm making. But I'm going to show you my scrap pack, or my, this big bin is piled. It's one of those metal things that I keep my scraps in. So that is absolutely full. And then the second thing I want to show you is um, I mentioned in one of my last videos that I had, um, I was making two more um, books with um, Deb's at, uh, sorry, at Art, Artsology um, that I was going to use this one that I used for my de design team entry that I was making baby books out of that. So I have two of those to make plus... At the same time, so I'm going to have everything done, and I'm a huge, huge, huge fan um, 
of her graphics because um, I found that, I think I mentioned it in the last video, you can, um, on some printers and computers, I guess if you have compatible stuff or whatever, that you can choose to print them like at 8x10, A4, um, 3.5x5, uh, 4x6, 5x7, wallet size, that sort of thing. And I am loving how her graphics turn out doing that. Um, so I printed it all, and I believe this one is a 3x5. So I'll be making like a 3x5 mini journal on that. And then I have a... <clears throat> Uh, Susanna over at Vintage Blend Studios about a month ago was talking um, or offered us if we would send her a tag she would send us a tag back um, so I need to finish up that tag and then um, so I, my surprise really for this one is that I was fortunate enough to make it onto Deb at Artsology's design team so I'm really excited so um, I am doing several things for that which is over here I already have most of it cut um, into its sizes and so I'll be doing two five by seven um, uh, little journals and then I'll be making five of these little guys which I've kind of started um, since um, we had family and I didn't do a whole lot except for kind of get the concept of what I wanted to do um, so I'm going to be making some little journals, and I've got some little pockets that I'm making to put in these little bitty guys. Um, and those kits come with all kinds of little mushrooms, and this is the small printed. Um, when I start doing these videos, I'll show you what they look like in like real size, um, so you can get an, a rough idea. And maybe I might do a video on what to look for in your printers. Um, to find those different settings. Um, but yeah, these are actually full-sized tear sheets. And I thought they'd be really, really cute if you mounted them to... Is that the paper? Nope. Three hands. Mounted these little guys. And actually, I'm going to use this one too. And right offhand, I can't remember that kit name, but I will, when I start all the books, I will list all of the graphics and their numbers. So I'm going to mount them and sew them right in there. And then I'll add some cute little laces and that sort of thing. Um, so I guess I kind of also want to ask a question. I've been a little uncertain on whether I should be doing tutorials or um, like craft with me's, that sort of thing. Is that something you guys are interested in? I don't know that I have maybe any other ideas than um, other crafters out there, um, but I would be more than happy to do that. Um, of course, I'm kind of a bungle crafter, so there might be quite a few hilarious moments. Um, so if that's something that you're interested in, um, please, um, please leave a comment down below, and then I will videotape some of it, and we'll just see how it turns out. Um, so yes, thank you very much for sticking with me this long and um, yeah, so thank you. Thank you so much to Deb for letting me be a part of your design team. I'm so excited and um, I will start uploading those um, process videos of this one specifically if you guys are interested. Okay, you guys all have a lovely day. Bye.